Hello everyone. Today I want to show you another uh, fishing tool. This is called as Black Eye, and it is created by the Wicked Karma GitHub URL. So we'll look at how this uh, tool works. So first thing you want to go do is go to this uh, GitHub the Wicked Karma Black Eye dot im, and then you want to clone this repo. I have already cloned it, uh, but you can just copy paste this command and clone the uh, repo. Once you have cloned the repo, then you want to go into black IAM and run the uh, setup.sh. Uh, first, you will have to change the permission so that you make it executable. And once you have made it executable, you want to run the setup.sh. Setup.sh might take a lot of time if you do not have node installed. Uh, so I have already executed this on my Kali VM. Uh, but once you run setup.sh, it will automatically start blackeye.sh and you don't need to do anything. Uh, but right now, since we have already completed setup.sh, if you want to start it again, all you need to do is go to blackeye.im folder where you had cloned it and then you need to start the blackeye.sh. Uh, this will also give you a nice list of sites that you want that you can uh, basically fish for. And let's take Stack Overflow this time. Uh, earlier we have taken something else. Right? Uh, we can use local tunnel or ng doc with this. I will go with uh, local tunnel. I don't have an account there. I don't know the password uh, that I should use for local tunnel. Uh, so I will show you with localhost, but you get the idea, right? If you have ngrock, you can use ngrock and uh, basically get it working that way. Uh, so we will say two here, and it will start a PHP server locally, and then it will start a local tunnel server. And once it has started, it will give us the message that it has started, and it will also give us a message that the server is started in a specific uh, location. Ideally, you can just go to open link and it will ask you for a password and it also mentions how you can get the password. Uh, but for whatever reasons, this password is not working for me. Uh, so I will not be using this and I will directly access it via localhost. So once you go to localhost, as you can see, immediately the directory page has changed to localhost uh, lo uh, stack overflow. And you can see the stack overflow page here. Now, if a user gives his uh, account name here and his password as well and clicks on login, then you should see that the user will actually get redirected to Stack Overflow uh, and he will probably assume that his password was not correct. So he will try the password again. He will not become suspicious. But what has happened in the background is that you will see that it will say that credentials are found and it will give you the username and the password that the user has uh, used. It will also save it in saved usernames.txt in the same folder where you have cloned it. So if you do a cat on this, you can see that it has saved the account and password for this. Uh, let's just try it for one more. Uh, let's say 16 uh, version. So once I do this, I can do again the same thing, uh, which is use local tunnel. And wait for this to start. Uh, once start once it starts then we should be able to do the same thing again that is go to localhost uh, port 5555 we can go to localhost port 5555 and now we should see the Verizon login page just wait for a few seconds for the page to load because it will load a lot of assets from Verizon.com as well and uh, just show the web page uh, to us. 
where if we enter our username and password then it will be captured right so as you can see it is going to verizon.com so the suspicion is much lesser right uh, the user who is looking at uh, the uh, status bar will see that uh, it is going to Verizon. So it will ask for user ID, let's say 12345, and then password is whatever, doesn't matter. And I can click on sign on. As soon as I click on sign on, it will redirect me to Verizon because that's what we had uh, fished for. But in the background, we have captured the account and the password. Uh, so that's what that's all I wanted to show you for today. Uh, thanks.